Hello again, Cons here. I recently needed to level up my Mialotov cocktail on my Palico for a build that I'm doing and I couldn't really find a convenient way to do it online, so I thought I'd post what I came up with. You can see I'm even feline researcher. I don't think it did anything, so you don't necessarily need to because we're going to be idling for 50 minutes and the food skill wears off. But you know, you can go for it if you'd like. I then post Master Rank Banbaro in the special arena. I don't know if the rank of the quest actually makes a difference, but... I didn't really want the Banbaro to be dying anyway, so I picked Master Rank. If you haven't got this quest, you'll need to capture a Banbaro. I then make my way to the arena. I take a well done stake to max out my stamina bar and I draw aggro. You'll see I've nudged myself into this corner. However, I would advise that you just stand in the middle because at the end of the video, you'll see my cat gets sort of stuck in the transitional area to get in here, which means it doesn't level up as much as it could have. But anyway, I'll, we'll talk about the skills briefly. Guard and hunger resistance are the two most important skills. Guard up is also quite nice depending on the monster that you're fighting, as is Palico Rally. I have the Valhazak set bonus too, as well as Folga Anjanath, but the most important one is Valhazak. You can see that it allows your health bar to sort of recover without having to be red, if you know what I mean. So it can recover to full, even if you've taken chip damage that can't be recovered normally, uh, you can get back to full health. That's the reason I'm staying at full despite taking chip. I'm just sort of showing off this set here. Two pieces Valhazak, two pieces Folga Anjanath. The guard charm is at level 5, you can swap these pieces out and it really doesn't make much of a difference. So if you don't have the guard charm or the guard decorations, you can easily just swap out the full Ganjanath pieces because I found that my stamina bar never got anywhere near being minimized and you can sort of see that via the video now. I'll show you the armor set in more detail at the end and talk about the various skills, but for now you can see that even when Banbro does its biggest attack and charges into me, barely does a dent in my stamina and it has a long end lag after that. But anyway, I idled for 50 minutes. You can see in the bottom left corner of the screen, the cat got stuck. So it was only really active for like half an hour. Uh, and my Mialotov cocktail levels up quite a few times. This would have gone up even more if my cat didn't get stuck. Probably something like halfway through 10, maybe even reaching 11. But you know, it, it works either way. So let's have a quick look in more detail at the armor set itself. Guard at level five is really nice. You can see the weapon is just the end of the ore tree. It's not particularly special. You just need one that can have as many shield augments as possible so you don't take much chip. Aside from that, it's not, doesn't need to be anything in particular. I have three points of hungerless gemmed in, which are really nice because they mean that your stamina bar doesn't decrease. And as you're gonna be idling for 50 minutes, you're ready to, and you're gonna be guarding as well. You need your stamina bar to be fairly high. So hungerless is quite handy. I use guard up, I don't think you need it for Banbaro. I have recovery up, which is handy for the little bits of recoverable damage that you'll take, especially if you're standing in the middle of the arena rather than nudged in a corner. Health boost really isn't that important at all. I would swap out some health boost for some more Palico Rally to be honest, but even my cat wasn't really taking that much damage, so it probably should be fine either way. You can also use guard decorations if you have them. If you don't have the guard charm at max level, completely understandable, just swap out some of the Fulga Anjanath stuff. You don't need the stamina cap increase. The, rib, the base stamina is more than enough. You saw from the uh, the footage that Banbaro really can't do anything to you. And yeah, the two set bonuses. Anjanath Dominance increases your stamina cap, fairly self-explanatory. And Val Solvain allows recovery to exceed the red portion of the health gauge. This means that you'll naturally recover health that you've taken, even the stuff that isn't normally recoverable. But it's how you stay at maximum health using this idling set. That's really all there is to it. Did I have any other points worth mentioning? So whenever I do a video like this of sort of automatic ways to do things, I get people saying, oh, but it'd be faster to just like play the game. And look, look, I agree, but that's not really the point of this video. If you've allocated like three hours to play Monster Hunter World on a Friday, I don't advise you spend it doing this. That's not the point. The idea is that when you're done playing and you're doing cooking or cleaning or the laundry or you're doing homework or whatever it is you have to do, whatever errands you have, you can then play this in the background and it'll be leveling up your Palico gear on the side whilst you're doing other things. Additionally, it doesn't have to be Banbaro, uh, but I would make sure that whatever monster you do pick, you have the relevant skills. So if you're doing Nightshade Paolo, then I would say take like Sleep Resistance and things like that. Banbaro, I just found to be the most convenient. And this method tends to start off slowly when your cat only has access to one ability because it has to like wait the entire cooldown before using a different move. However, as it unlocks like the second and the third, the method tends to speed up. That said, it does get kind of sort of counteracted by the fact that each level takes more experience than the last to, to increase by. But overall, I found that the method sort of tends to speed up as you reach the middle section. And I think that covers everything. If you do have Palico gear to raise up, then uh, I hope you find this handy. Otherwise, or either way, I hope you have a lovely day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.